I know a lot of you have been wondering where we've been and why I'm not putting video. Oh, one second, let me clean this. T-shirt works fine. Oh, that looks great. So many have wondered where we've been the last few months and uh, to give you an idea, we are building a barn to video. So. the property I just brought in the um, Bobcat so let us show you what it started out when it looked like when it started I guess I already have the culvert set last week I brought that over my buddy Neil Hammerlink let me borrow his trailer we cut down a bunch of trees there that's the people building our metal home. Got the power all ran a few weeks back, all the way up to there, still waiting on the power company. So we have the uh, boundaries to the far right hand side marked out. And then there's a little bad boy I'm gonna be using. A little bobcat. And then, uh, this is where everything is roped off and marked off, so I'll pick some of it up. But this is what it looked like when we started. And uh, Kelly's got a, all the paint on the ground. Was, we decided to get everything laid out here where we wanted it. And uh, that's the patio. It's going to be the 16 foot square patio with concrete walks up here and on the front. And this is the living room area, kitchen area, and then this will be master bath area and bedroom. And I'm gonna clear this out too, but you'll be able to see the pond hopefully when I'm all done here. All right, so here's the start of it. And now it is an actual driveway. So here's the road over here and it's a driveway so he's really building it up nicely we want a little bit of a highness to where the house is and everything so that when the rain comes down it comes down the culvert and washes down Liesel is not phased by the machinery she thinks she's faster which she is Oh, Liesl, watch out. She's fine. She's fine. Liesl, come here. Come here, Lise. Liesl, come here. Come here. Liesl Dotson, come here. <gasps> come here. Yeah. Yeah, she's not scared of it. She's not scared of nothing. Yeah. And then he's just going to pull it back. All right, come on. Looking good. He's been working hard all morning. So we're just gonna hang out with him in the shade. I brought my iPad, my MiFi, so I have internet. We'll keep him company. He's doing good, very proud of him. Holy buckets. So he cleared all this this morning. When I wasn't here. This was a I wasn't oh, here type oh, of morning. Oh. Okay, go get it, guys. Oh, we're playing chuck it. Wow. All that, all that brush. Or something that looks like it's from the movie plane. Whew. But I can't go down there. I am highly allergic to everything down there. Well, not everything, but... There is a vine that I am extremely allergic to that grows in the Midwest. It's somewhat poison ivy, but the landscaper we talked to called it Virginia creeper. So, I don't know, I'm allergic to creeper. Creepers. Woo. Then we'll burn it. Oof. I 
can't be here when we burn it, though. I will die. <laughs> oh! I got it! Holy buckets. Holy buckets. And then you found this down there. Leftover relic from a family member. Oh. Way on days gone by. An old metal swing set. Neighbor said he'll take it to the scrapyard for us. That's nice. We've set up our own little area here. We've confiscated from our, our patio furniture bit by bit. <laughs> and throw it down and drug it over so that we could have places to sit. Whoa! So I'm sitting underneath our fir tree that I just hit. <laughs> Get it, Liesl! Oh, Liesl saw it. She saw it. Right there, Liesl! <sighs> Mom and pop chairs. Mom and pop chairs right there. Someday. Well, I got the RV septic. I got to just cut it off. I got all the fields flattened out and graded down where the septics were installed. That little flag where the septic, new septic tank is at. And actually inside of the house here, we got it all staked out. But So there's the piece of PVC, Schedule 40. That'll go into the house. We'll feed everything off of that. But that's what the land's shaping up to look like. I've been using a harrow on the back of my ATV, or my wife's ATV actually, and uh, that's been working good. And I've been cl slowly cleaning our way down around the pond to our neighbors, clearing brush, shrubs, trees, all that good stuff. Still waiting on Mid-America. Can't believe how terrible they are. Slow as molasses to get power. I've been waiting over four weeks now for power. This is where we were staying two days ago. Look at the look at how it pulled the trees right out of the ground. It had to been over 100 mile an hour winds to do this. Had to be. I heard uh, one station clock 105 miles per hour. And I I can believe that. That's the biggest I've seen. Eating bread. I just made some mine corn bread. It was delicious. Um, yeah, we're getting our well today. We are so excited. It has been raining like a second dogs. flood. <laughs> it has been terrible. And we had this big, huge red truck in our driveway, half of our yard, for all weekend. And the dogs are like, what's going on here? But today is the day we get our well. We've got our septic. Then we got our foundation. Now we get our well. It's so okay. We water. Go check it out. Oh, <laughs> FYI, there's no water in the camp right now because the pump went out last night. So very fitting that we're getting our well. Yeah, now. Speaking of wells, now I got to work on our pump. <laughs> so she's, it's been raining nonstop. You can see we got the foundation done last year. I did the driveway, got everything ready to set up a base camp here while we're building. We'll run the power in last year. And then the well guys are coming out. Getting the well in. So they'll start digging on that today. And uh, they should be done probably by Wednesday, they think. But uh, so yeah, I gotta start tearing the one underneath the bark and working on the well.
So it's RV life now or never. Things aren't always peaches, cherries, and roses. So we got our new well going in on our property. And yesterday our, our well, our, our pump went out of our Momentum 381M. So I know our friends Chad and Tara did a great video on replacing the water pump. We're not gonna replace that. Just go to their website. Changing lanes is awesome. But um, I'm just gonna show you how quick and easy it is to get into the show you where the pump is in the underbelly of the 381M. So if you look in here, this is your pass through. I just took this panel off, put it off to the side, and then I pulled the four screws out of here. This opens up, and all your stuff's back here. I'll just all you gotta do is disconnect this your vacuum. And uh, unplug it and get this out of your way and then I'll show you here in a little bit with more light uh, what the Nautilus system looks like back there. So there's that wall that I was talking about. There, I, I just undid the hose for the vacuum and I plugged the uh, vacuum hose here and the vacuum itself. And uh, as you can see we got just, a, it looks like there's been a little water in here. We've got to see what that's coming from but that's the whole back of the Nautilus system as you can see I've been replacing PEX as we go and as needed to get rid of those stupid hoses but um our water our, our water pump is not working so we've got to figure out why and see it's right there and uh it's actually a cheap pump I wouldn't recommend it go with either a sure flow or a C flow for a quieter pump and better working. And you can see, looks like it's, it's been uh, leaking a little bit here on the front. So that's what we're looking at right now. And uh, yeah, something doesn't look good there, but we'll see. Okay, so if you can see, there's some corrosion on this pump. Now this pump is two years old, but it looks like it just start, it started leaking here recently, or six months ago, and you can tell the whole bottom's like rusted and the, the, the rubber's deteriorated and fell apart. So um, she, wasn't, she wasn't doing very good. And it says right on this, on this thing, it says right on it here, duty cycle five minutes on ten minutes off well you know who takes five minute showers and heck it takes me 30 minutes just to pump out of a water tank so that's definitely not the right pump to use for camping or full-time RVing so we upgraded it um, I'm going down and buying a more expensive SureFlow 55 um, pressure pump uh, down at the at an RV dealership and then I'm also got one ordered on Amazon that's coming in and I think Grand Design is sending me another Flowmax but we're just gonna keep that one in the bucket for our emergency emergency backup because I'm not real happy with it it's always been loud as heck anyway so but Grand Design sending it for free but Grand Design they are we have never had a problem with our customer service some things are still back ordered that we haven't gotten from a year ago which is fine COVID we understand and this pump only had a one-year warranty on it from Grand Design, but they're honoring it and uh, customer service is sending us a new pump anyway out today. Jenny is up. And Jenny is, is who I usually deal with it at Grand Design and she's been wonderful to deal with. So uh, we haven't had any issues with Grand Design customer service and they've always returned my call the same day or emailed me if I didn't get a call back. So I don't know. Uh, and we're no one in particular is special. We're not Grand Design ambassadors, though we do love their product and we've used it two years full time and have had very, very little issues with the unit. So, well, we're going down and buy another pump. So uh, I'll talk to you later. Well, I think we're down 352 feet and now they're doing the lining of the casing, I think. got a very strong sulfur smell when they're digging. I thought we had a propane leak and I came out and I'm like, oh no, that's just the water smell. Going through all the limestone. You can see the 
all the slurry that runs down, all that's from just rinsing off the drill and auger bits as they're going. Well, the well's dug and in. We're down 352 feet. They'll clean up some of this stuff when they come back in a few days to put in the pumps and run the water line into the building and the power here. So, but uh, yeah, all the trucks are gone here for the wells. And uh, continue on to the next part of the build. <laughs> it's RV Live now or never. Getting exciting.